What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, Wealth Hacker Labs. I'm your gracious host, Jeff Rose, and the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Warren Buffett, he's at it again. That's right, folks. So I've already reported that last week that he sold off huge stakes in Delta Airlines and also Southwest. And the biggest fear in seeing the Oracle of Omaha dump a large stake in two positions that he used to love is that is Warren giving up on this market rally? Does he still feel that a crash is coming? He's just trying to exit as much of his holdings that he can. And the reason being is because Warren just unloaded $30 million of another stock. This time it's the Bank of New York, which he had over a 10% withholding in. And according to Business Insider, so we can see here that he sold off $30 million of BNY Mellon stock this week, over 860,000 shares. And since he had over a 10% stake in the company through his, his conglomerate Berkshire Hathaway, you know, you had, he had to file this with the SEC, which you can actually find online here. So you can see on April the 7th, he sold off 197 thousand shares. It's just so weird saying 197,000 <laughs> shares at $35 a share, sold off another stake of 634,000 on April the 8th and another smaller block of 37,000, all for about $35 per share, 35.50 give or take, give or take a, some change there. So that it's alarming because if you actually look at the stock, you know, yeah, we are at about $51 at the beginning of the year. It dropped down to 27. And then after this rally that we've had here recently, you know, he sold it at 35. Looks like he could have got two more, two more dollars a share if he would have waited a few more days. But you know, the big concern is, wait a second, if this bank, if this bank was trading at a high of 51 earlier in the year, even about 45 ish, then why was he willing to exit so quickly? Was it just the fact that we had a market rally and it's a short lived rally based on his gut, based on his research, based on his analysis or expertise. And he just wanted to get as much as he could right now. You know, that is one of the, uh, one of the concern. And actually this was reported by CCN, which I don't know. I will say when I read uh, this, publication, they definitely kind of go towards the uh, doom and gloom kind of side. And that's kind of what the case it was making here, you know, just looking at the stock, looking at its current trends and just looking at, man, like what, why, why, why the timing of the sale? Like is really the big question, you know, is it, is it that he just felt like, man, like this is a short lived rally. It's going to continue to go down. So I'm just going to go ahead and exit while I can. Now the business insider article, it gives more, I don't know if it's a, a reasonable or just more of a, a simpler solution, but just by trimming the stake he had in the company from 10.4% down to 9.8, it just reduces the regu regulatory burden that comes with holding that uh, stake of 10% more. So anytime you've owned more than 10% of any company, you got to file this with the SEC. And like, that's what he had to do with Delta and also with Southwest. So is that why the reasoning here? Either way, it is interesting, the timing of things. You know, like there are many people that are fearful that this is a short-lived rally. They were calling this like, you know, the V-bounce. Like we're just, is this a, a V? Are we just hitting it? It's gonna spring back up or are we going, are we just gonna go back down? Like, and this is all just a bunch of hoopla. And there, there's still a lot of fear out there, right? I mean, the US just became the largest casualties with the whole coronavirus thing and, that number obviously is only going to get worse. Uh, I'm expecting us to be quarantined in our house at least for another month. I was actually just uh, talking to a friend who's over in Italy uh, right now, and they just got the announcement that they're quarantined, I think until another five weeks starting, I think yesterday or last week. So, you know, they're ahead of us and they're still going to be quarantined, even though I think there's been some, uh, some sign that the whole social distancing and what they've done over there is helping but nonetheless, they aren't ready to open everything up. And the US economy, if we're quarantined for another five weeks, which I think is a, a very safe bet, 
the $1,200 stimulus check that you received, that's not gonna go very far. We've got so many small businesses struggling, corporate earnings are only continue to be worse. And I think the question is, is that already written in into the stock prices that you see now? Some analysts say yes. I'm trying not to be a pessimist here, but I just don't feel that that's the case. And whether it's written in, that doesn't take away investor sentiment. Like where people's moods and people are irrational. We all are, we're humans. And I just think more uncertainty is just gonna cause more chaos in the market. So maybe that is more why Warren wanted to get out. Only person that really knows is Warren and he has not released any of that information yet. So I guess when he does, we'll find out. Until now, just uh, be let it be known that Warren just sold off another huge stake and a long time holding. Um, obviously he made some money with it. So just wondering what he did that for. All right, y'all, just wanna give you a light of that situation, what's going on in the markets, in the world. This is Jeff Rose reminding you that it's your money, it's your life, and only you can make it awesome. Until next time, peace.